Now we're going to be putting light into this, uh, this scene here, just a simple spotlight. Um, first thing we want to do is we just need to just show our lighting and uh, we, just, we just press the number 7. Sorry, I just moved in. Alright, and that will just give us light. Uh, we've got nothing here. Alright, uh, the first light I'm going to put in, okay, I'm just going to go to my rendering and I'm just going to put a directional light into my scene. Alright, and uh, that's just to, to fill, uh, fill my area so I don't have just a black area. Alright, I'm just going to select on it and then I'm going to rotate All right, just to make sure that it kind of looks okay I'm just going to drag it up I'll make it bigger it, uh, the size doesn't really matter much alright just so I can see it alright and uh, oops did some strange things there alright and I'm just going to light it down like so alright that seems to be okay. Now I'm going to double click all right, to get my uh, options up for my directional light and I'm just going to knock that down to maybe uh, 0.3. Okay, this will change depending on your, uh, your scene. All right, not too much, just bump it up a little bit more. 0.4. All right, there we go. Now, next. I want to add a spotlight. All right, and here I go, just quite obvious. All right, click on it, and here I go. All right, you can just see it. Now, what I want to do is I want to sort of position it right just above him. So I'm going to just go in and I'm just going to look through selected. All right, there you go. Now you should be able, if you go down here, you can see that I'm looking through my spotlight. All right, so let's just, oops, lost it a bit. Now I can just try to put it above. Uh, how is it? Yeah, about just a little bit above, like so. All right, there we go. So now I need to go panels, perspective, and then back to my perspective camera. All right, now. All right, we have a look. Let's just do a quick little render. All right. Uh, it's not very attractive. Um, just got the straight line, and uh, it's just a little bit dark underneath the nose. All right, so I just need to do a little bit more. Okay, make sure I've got my spotlight set. It um, set. Now, actually, what I might do before I do that, I might just add another light. All right, uh, just to to go and. Now I should spend some time doing three um, three point lighting, but I uh, just don't really have time in this tutorial. Okay, I'm just looking up there, and I'm just really going to knock that one down to maybe point two. All right, I just want to get rid of uh, some of that uh, look. I might just put that up a bit more. Point three. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I've got, say, two lights going in uh, different, oh, so three, three lights going in different directions. Okay, now, next step, what we want to do is to uh, add a just um, change some of our settings. So let's go to Spotlight, and I might just change it up a bit. Panels, look through, selected. All right. I might just change it a bit. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, that should be fine. Okay, go back to perspective. Let's just have another look. 
All right. Let's get the out over a bit. Oh no, that seems to be fine. All right. All right. Now, what we want to do? Let's select our spotlight and up over here. All right. We'll keep the intensity at one. That's okay. Uh, cone angle, we'll leave it. Uh, this penumbra angle here. All right. I might just, if you, you can have a look at it up in here, this area here. All right. All right. I'm just going to maybe soften that a bit. All right. And I might just do a little bit of the drop off. All right. Just leave that up. Down a bit the wrong way, can't I? Ah, let's see what I've done. All right. Okay, just play around with it for a bit. Don't want that much. All right, there we go. That should be fine. Let's just have a look. All right, uh, it's looking a little bit better, a little bit more like a spotlight. Um, now you can see what's missing is uh, we're missing a, a shadow and also just sort of some light fog. All right, so I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna select, go into shadows. All right, and I'm just gonna use depth map shadows. All right, and filter size, I might just knock those up, all right. Just you want it to be uh, similar to your uh, penumbra. Okay, now let's have another look. Okay, there we go. We are getting a bit of a shadow. Um, looking a little bit dark, but we can fix it up a bit later. All right, I might just not do that now. Okay, just change the angle of my... Yeah, here. All right. Maybe not so much uh, drop, drop off. Okay, now the last thing I want to be doing is to be giving some sort of light fog. All right, so again, I've got my uh, spotlight selected. And let's go down here. Okay, I want to go to light effects. All right. Now here, where it says light fog, all right, just click on the, uh, the checkered box to the right. All right, here we go. We've got these options that have just turned up. That all looks good. Now, let's just have another look at our image. I'll just try to, to uh, focus this up a bit. All right. Click. It's getting a lot slower now. There you go. We're getting a um, we're getting a bit of a light light fog, but we've still got a bit of uh, work to do. Uh, we need to get it to go further down. So I need to select it. Now I need to press this button here, the manipulator tool. All right. Now this gets a little bit tricky at the moment. Uh, you're going to see like a little blue um, blue circle. That's what you really want to be getting at. All right, and you want to be clicking it until the um, the the, uh, the point on it is facing at about maybe ten o'clock. All right, so I'm just going to click it once, twice, three times. It points straight down. All right, click again four. All right, sorry, we should, that, that's about the uh, angle we should be looking at it. So it's like a reversed Q. So that's six, seven o'clock. All right, let's just click this bottom one here. And I'm just gonna drag that down. All right, so you can kind of see how it's looking. All right, and why is this not really? Should be stronger. Alright, might just knock that up to about 0.5. 
Bye. There we go. All right, so we've moved it down. Now let's go in a bit more. Let's just try to get this composition looking okay. That looks fine. And let's hit. And it's slowing down a bit, but uh, there you go. All right. Looks okay. I mean, we can do a lot more. We could try to get a bit more color into this shadow uh, just behind but uh, I play around with things and um, there you go. That's how you put light and shadow into your image.